Okay, I know what you're thinking. Do I really need a realtor in this day and age, right? We're in the, well into the 21st century and all the tools are at my disposal to do my own searches, to run my own comps, and to basically be able to, to buy and sell real estate on my own, right? Well, I'm Realtor Bert Tide. I'm also uh, the broker owner of Santino Properties LLC, a boutique firm which specializes in helping buyers and sellers with off-market properties, right? Instead of pulling all that MLS stuff, right? Well, I want to explain to you, I've, I've told you in other videos, uh, you know, why a realtor can save you money or make you money and also maybe even lose you money if you pick the wrong one, uh, because not all of us are are, uh, are are equal, right? Or made the same, right? Not all of us uh, uh, serve the public at a high level. But let me tell you, one of the things that you can benefit from as a buyer, sure, you can run your searches. Sure, you can be alerted by the consumer sites, uh, the realtor.coms and Zillow's of the world, you know, when a new property becomes available. Uh, you know, you, you pick your consumer site of choice. And sure, they could do all those things for you. However, the insights that a good realtor can provide to you as far as neighborhoods and some of the trends and some of the experiences that we've had in the past, those are worth their weight in gold. And guess what? On the buy side, it doesn't cost you anything to work with us anyway. Remember, the seller pays our fee. And those of you thinking, uh, well, if I'm buying new construction, what do I need a realtor for, right? Because I get that a lot too. I had a gal one time tell me, I, I, I asked her, I said, you know, listen, uh, you know, so, so this, this pre-owned home doesn't work for you. So, but you did mention to me that you're thinking about new construction. So, you know, what would be a good day for us to go in your schedule? You know, that makes sense for both of us to go and take a look at a property, uh, you know, with a builder. And, and she was like, do you think I'm some kind of an idiot? She, she literally asked me that. She's like, I don't need a realtor to, to buy new construction. And guess what? Because of the tools that I have and I'm very inquisitive, I found out later that she overpaid for the house. That's what we bring to the table, right? I know a lot of new construction, uh, 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 new home sales representatives or consultants, whatever. Uh, they're all, believe me when I tell you, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm being completely honest and frank with you when I tell you, they're all good people. I've met a lot of them in my day. I've never met one that I can tell you, you know what, this, that, you need to look out for that guy. He's, he's a shyster. I've personally never met somebody like that. I've heard of people like that, but I've never met anybody like that. And, and I'm going to tell you straight, right? I'm also going to tell you, you know, certain builders, however, that you should probably steer away from, right? And I, I, I would personally avoid Lennar and Centex. I don't mind going on a limb to, to provide uh, that insight and give you that guidance and, and advice uh, based on experience because of some of the, the experiences that my clients have had. So it's nothing to do with me, right? It has to do with with the the negative experiences that my clients have had. So I don't know, that, that's just my opinion. Uh, but at the same time, the folks who work for them, it's not their fault that, that they work for shysters, right? Uh, instead, uh, you need to know that those uh, consultants, as well as their companies, uh, the, new, the builders, are more than happy to pay our fees, our, our, our commissions, right? So whatever those fees are, they're more than willing to pay them, in fact, they're, these days they're incentivizing us to, to bring clients to the table, right? A bonus here and there, you know, whatever, uh, you know, which is a difference, you know, from like a year and a half, two years ago, they didn't want anything to do with us, right? They were trying to say, they were trying to save money. You're right, right? They were trying to squeeze as much equity as they could out, out of the, their new homes. But now uh, I can tell you emphatically and beyond a shadow of a doubt that new home uh, builders, they already work in. Uh, they bake that that commission and fee those fees into the uh, the construction of the home and the price of the home and so forth. It's already contemplated. Okay, so you're not going to negotiate a better deal because you come to the table without uh, a, a, a real estate salesperson. Uh, so call upon us. Those smiley guys behind the desk, they're good people, like I said, but they work for the builder. They're employed, literally employed, W-2 employees. They're employed by the builder. Uh, and they're not looking out for your best interest. So I would recommend that you use a realtor for, uh, uh, you know, for, for guidance, right? That's what a fiduciary is there for. Uh, so that's the buy side, right? On the sales side, uh, guys, you need to be thinking about using a realtor. Don't try to do it on your own, especially not in this market. Maybe, just maybe, I could see a for sale by owner say, you know what? I don't need a realtor, you know, two years ago. Uh, why would I need a realtor? I just, 
throw it out there on Zillow, whatever, and as a for sale by owner, and it'll sell. And maybe, just maybe you're right, you know? Maybe you're right, and and you you got thrown a bunch of money at, uh, there was a bunch of money thrown at you and so forth, you know, for the sale of your home. That was then, this is now. Okay, the market has changed, and uh, here we are in March of 2023, and I'm here to tell you that there's been a softening of the market, elevated days on market, for not just pre-owned homes, uh, uh, but also new construction, right? There's the residential real estate market has changed. So now more than ever, you need to de decide to to interview uh, realtors, even if you do more than one. Um, remember, I've talked to you in other videos about how we get homes sold for more money, even in this market, uh, and for the least amount of hassle for top dollar. Uh, and we do that through target marketing, right? So it's, it's a totally different thing than what anybody else offers. Uh, however, uh, we're not the only game in town. There are 13,600 of us. Ask me how I know, because I just recently checked with the, with the San Antonio Board of Realtors, right? The offices told me, yeah, 13.6 is the number. As of right now, maybe some people will be turning their license in, you know, because of the, the conditions in the marketplace, you know, over the next, you know, six months, year, whatever. God bless them, you know, but I'm here to tell you that some of us I work very, very hard for our clients. There are a lot of really, really good realtors out there in San Antonio. I know a lot of them personally. Uh, I had one uh, I, a property that my clients are interested in, the Dominion. Uh, I had the listing agent just, she would call me out of the blue, you know, because I, I we, we had been texting and my clients say, hey, I'd be interested, you know, whatever. She call, she calls me up She's and you could hear her cooking in the back. She's like, hey, look, uh, you know, I'm cooking dinner. So excuse, excuse the noise, but hey, you know, let's open a dialogue. You know, what are they looking for? You know, and I said, well, what are your sellers looking for? You know, what's important to them? Those are the kind of, that's the kind of back and forth and dialogue that realtors have with each other, right? We're working on behalf of our clients and we're looking out for their best interests, of course. And we can never disclose to the other side how much our buyer's willing to pay. And a listing agent can never disclose what a, a seller's willing to sell. Uh, and if any, either one of those two scenarios takes place, you know what, report them to the Texas Real Estate Commission because that's, that's, that's a dereliction of duty. So uh, we're there to help our clients at a high level and we can do a great job for them. Now, the, the, going back to the FISBO, the for, for sale by owner um, uh, situation, now more than ever, you need to make sure that that with those elevated days on market that you're choosing a, a real estate professional because your 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 um, objective should not be to pay the least amount of commission. It should be the net the most money possible for your family. That should be your objective. And using a good fiduciary uh, in the sale of your home can really help you maximize that that equity, right? That profit from the sale of your home when the when the home closes. So. Think about uh, um, hiring a good realtor. I've talked about in other videos in the past, you know, how a, a realtor can help you make more money or less money based on their, their competence level. And, and again, not all of us are, are um, created equally, uh, but we are, um, uh, we are uh, guided by the canons of professionalism. Uh, we all have to abide by those uh, and uh, we have to uh, serve our clients at a high level. Right, it's our fiduciary duty to do so. So I want you to think about uh, uh, what which we've, I've talked about today about hiring a good realtor. Uh, do some research, and I'm sure you do. You know, uh, check out the the five star reviews that people have. You know, we're fortunate to have all five star reviews, um, and a lot of folks out there are as well. They they do have those same five star reviews. So whether you're looking for a realtor, you know, seven eight two five five. Canyons of the Scenic Loop, uh, Dominion, uh, Stone Oak, Sonterra, uh, Hollywood Park, uh, Thousand Oaks area, 78232, wherever that is, uh, 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 Westover Hills out by SeaWorld, hire a good realtor, someone who knows the neighborhood, someone who knows uh, 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 how to sell, frankly, right? Someone who knows how to, how to, to um, serve their clients' best needs at a high level. Uh, and again, we're not the only game in town. We do something that's entirely, entirely different. You know, we, we use target marketing, not only for our sellers, but our buyers. We spend money on our listings, uh, on our buyers, not just on our listings. Uh, I had a gentleman that called me out to his house yesterday and um, he literally had my my marketing pieces that he'd received out in, in, in a line right there on the buffet. He had them all out there. And, and I, I, I didn't even know he knew who I was. But evidently he had saved all the stuff that I'd sent him. Very, very sharp man, right? He's a real estate investor. This guy has been doing it for years. Uh, he's, a, he's a real shark. 
Uh, and uh, he and I had a really, really nice conversation. Uh, and he was, you know, I, I don't mind telling you, he was a little impressed with, you know, what we do, right? He sees that we have a lot of outside the box thinking with what we do to get home sold. Uh, and, uh, you know, so when that time comes, so he's, he's, he's a for sale by owner right now. Uh, and, but, you know, I, I get the feeling like if he ever gets to that point where he wants to uh, list the home for sale or try one of our approaches that are completely unorthodox and, you know, uh, you know, outside the realm of what you usually, usually see, uh, he'll be giving me a call. Uh, if he doesn't sell on his own, right? Well, so we'll see, right? Uh, but it's a tough time. He's also been on the market for nine months, right? Uh, on, on Zillow. So um, anyway, uh, that's all I have to say for now uh, on this topic. Uh, so the, at the end of the day, I would recommend the use of a good realtor, right? Either on the buy side or on the listing or the sale side. Uh, I would definitely uh, uh, recommend doing that. Not just because I want to get paid guys, but it's because it's in your best interest. You have somebody looking out for you and um, the the complexities of a, of the sale of real estate. There's a lot to it. It's not just filling in the the, the blanks uh, on the uh, you know the state approved uh, forms. Okay, there's so much more to that because the devil is in the details, my friend. Sure, anybody can fill out the the blanks. In fact, you can find the one to four family uh, residential contract online. It's a it's available to you through the Texas Real Estate Commission. I think it's uh, uh, track Texas gov or something. I don't know. Look it up. Just just do a Google search for uh, one to four one dash four family contract residential contract in Texas, and there it is. You can you can sell the home on your own. Sure, and you can also uh, fill out the the form by yourself. Uh, you can find the necessary disclosures. The home's built before nineteen seventy eight. Don't forget that that lead based paint uh, addendum. Uh, you can do all that by yourself. Sure. But you can also find yourself uh, in a lot of trouble because you didn't do things the right way. Uh, if you come, somebody can can perhaps sue you in the future. There's a, the, a whole litany of things that can happen and go wrong for you. So why not just hire that professional to look after your best interests and uh, and protect you and your family, uh, and at the same time uh, guide you in terms of of the sales price to help you squeeze that, that, that equity. Because remember, if you invite enough realtors to walk through your front door, sure, somebody's gonna walk in and tell you they can sell your home for $5 million, even though it's a $700,000 house. But at the end of the day, you don't wanna list with somebody like that. You know, just to get your listing business, you know, uh, and then of course, play the price drop game, you know, you know, week after week, after month, after month, and until, you know, you're getting low ball offers and stuff like that. You never get a second chance to price it right the first time. But I'll tell you what, if it's a well-kept home, it shows well, it has great curb appeal, it's terrific inside, it's moving ready, that home is going to sell. Even with multiple offers, I'm seeing it now. Even in March of 2023, we're seeing multiple offers. If it's a great house and it's priced right, it will sell quick. Okay, so that, so don't think that, you know, well, there's there's no hope, you know, the media and, you know, don't listen to the media. You know, they're, they're there for the negativity, right? To get eyeballs. And that's that's how they get eyeballs, right? Through negativity. So I'm here to tell you that now is still a good time to sell your home. I know we're going to the spring season, if you will, you know, where people, uh, more, more sellers are going to be out there, but it's also more competition uh, for you. If you thought about selling your home either now or sometime in the future, here's what I want you to do. I want you to either leave me a comment down below. Uh, I read all the comments, both good and bad. Or uh, I want for you to uh, reach out to me uh, it, you know, text, email, uh, call, old-fashioned way, DM, you know, whatever is, is convenient for you. But yeah, but leave me a message down below or reach out to me. I want you to, I want to have a dialogue with you. I want to give you a little bit of insight into the real estate market in San Antonio and how uh, we as realtors, maybe not even just me, if you don't want to hire me, that's fine. But I don't mind just dispensing, you know, free advice, frankly. I want to, I want to serve my community at a high level. And, and even if you don't hire me, I want to give you some guidance on what to look for. Uh, I have an agent selection guide uh, on what you should be looking for uh, whenever you interview a realtor, right? There's there's columns of what we do, and then you can check the boxes. Do they do this? Do they do that? Do they do this? Or that? And, I, and I have all that available to you. I can either mail it to you, uh, uh, or we can meet in person, or we can just meet on Zoom, whatever is easy for you. So I'm Realtor Bert Tade, uh, uh, a broker owner of Santino Properties LLC, a boutique firm uh, specializing in uh, the uh, buying and selling of off-market properties uh, for um, the community. 
That's it for now. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you. Take care.